Remember, you're always going to do manual exfoliation first. Lip, cheek. Okay, my hands are getting a little dry. This is where I can go ahead and remove contact. Go back to the same section. So that is the That's three okay. different areas that you can go ahead and remove contact are your chin, mm -hmm. your temple, and your forehead. Exfoliate. Push to press it twice. Hi. I like to work again in sections, separate my client in half. Stretch that skin. Make sure that it's really nice and even foliated. You can go up or you can go sideways with your BT micro. Make sure that you're getting all of that area. When you think of doing and separating your client in sections, just pretend you're painting her. Which area did you skip? She is not gonna have any paint on there. Down on the nose, you notice I'm not wiping it every single time. Down on the nose, up on the forehead. Wipe to the other side. Put a little bit of it. When you have your client exposed her decollete, you are going to include it in most steps, except for the ones that indicate do not do the neck area or chest long, long, long strokes. Same thing on this side. I like to move a little bit to my side so that I have better ergonomics when I work. See, long strokes and keep moving. Definitely concentrate on the area where she's got a little bit of congestion. You go back and spread it a little bit more. I have control of my sponges. I'm working as much of that area as possible. Two passes on her decollete area. Left hand over right hand, left hand over right hand. If you wanna go ahead and adapt it to how it is in school, in the book, that's fine. This is just a little bit more efficient way of doing it. Lift, lift. If you're doing this, you're gonna create a wrinkle. You don't wanna create a wrinkle, you wanna keep her looking young and fabulous. Cheek area, cheek area, nose, side of the nose, that bridge of the nose, forehead, 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 forehead. 